Just uh, just kind of talk about what you've seen out of your guys, I guess, so far in spring practice, but in the, in the back end. So again, I'm sorry. Just talk about what you've seen out of your guys in the secondary so far in the spring. Uh, a lot of inconsistency, um, uh, good effort, uh, a willingness to learn. You know, guys, they're, 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 they're doing a good job. You know, we've only been here eight practices, and uh, you can see the progress being made, especially from our basic basic calls that we've had when we first put it in and, uh, and seeing them executed as, as times go on. You know, and, and obviously they're, you know, it's, it's a lot for them. You know, everybody wants to, you know, they're eager to all learn more and more and more. But, uh, you know, we just got to, you know, there's there's a, there's inconsistencies that are going on, which we kind of expected that. Uh, but we're really in a developmental, you know, stage of the, of the package and trying to get a feel for, you know, what's the right, What's the right spot for guys? And, and um, so there's a, there's there's really good competition going out there. For a defensive back, what's the I guess what's the hardest part about this defense? Safeties and then corners. To, to uh, communication. There's a lot of you know we uh, there's a lot of communication that's, that uh, you know they they've got to be on top of their game. And, uh, you know, whether, the, the, the particular call that we're making and, and getting that echo to our defense, you know, particularly the safeties, you know, who like quarterbacks on our defense, they got to make a lot of calls. And, um, so getting used to that, being, being vocal, being confident in, in, uh, in what they're doing. Physicalness, obviously, you guys are working on physical. But how, how much does a cornerback or a safety, especially, have to be? How physical do they have to be in this defense? Well, they're playing defense. They better be physical every play, you know, regardless of what, what what you do on defense. You know, they better be. They better. You know, we want them smart. We want them tough. You know, so uh, that's not going to be something that uh, hopefully we recruited that. What have you seen out of Jermaine Whitehead, a guy that kind of worked mostly the nickel last year, that's now working some at safety? What have you seen out of him so far this um, You know, Jermaine is a um, a smart player. We feel very good about his progress. You know, he understands. Um, like I was telling, like I was telling him. You know, I mean, he's he's a guy that can make calls, and, and so that's been very positive. And to be able to play nickel and safety in our system is is pretty good, especially early on. With what you guys are doing, do the strong safeties make the calls, or have the free safety, both. or both? Both. Chris Davis is probably the most veteran corner with, with T Bell not out there. Uh, just talk about Chris and kind of what you've seen from him so far. Um, you know, Chris has uh, got a lot of a uh, lot of ability. Um, he's a physical player. He's he's really got all the all the uh, all the skill sets that you look for in a, in a corner. Um, change of speed, feet, uh, ball skills. I just said the physical part. Uh, smart player. Uh, you know, obviously Chris has played, has had a lot of success here, so kind of leaning on him to be a leader. Robinson three is he's a uh, young guy who didn't who played a little bit last year. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. Uh, I know he didn't play. I don't know how much he played last year. Uh, I mean, I do know, but there's not not that many reps. Uh, but you can see, you know, uh, the eighth practice here. In fact, today, you know, you can see him feeling more comfortable uh, in what he's, you know, what he's supposed to do. And uh, you know, he made a couple of plays, uh, which was very encouraging with the ball in the air uh, today. Uh, had an unbelievable interception in a, in a, um, a red, a red, uh, red zone period that we had. Uh, so that was really good to see. Talk about the communication thing from the safeties. You see a lot of those guys thinking too much out there right now, trying to. I think so. I think the, you know, I think that uh, you see a lot of guys too that they they kind of know what to do, but they're a little gun shy, and uh, that's where again that's expected. That's you know, you're 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 in the eighth, you're only in your eighth practice in this system. Uh, I think that uh, it's going to take some time, and we've got time. You know, we've got seven more practices, and, and uh, each day is is hearing it. Over and you know, hearing it again for the uh, 
whether it's the 20th or the 30th or the 40th time at a certain call, but you got uh, the summertime where they'll get a chance to, uh, you know, spend time together, you know, in their off-season workouts, and, 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 and then when they come back in, 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 the, in the fall camp, it's another, it's another uh, an opportunity for them. And you can already see it how it's going you know, like, it's, uh, it's processing uh, uh, in, in, a, in a very positive manner. See him, you can see him executing better. How's uh, Fisher doing the walk on? He was hurt last year and uh, was invited to walk on a couple years ago. Is he? Yeah, Trent's doing a good job. No, he's 